The robot that totally saved Cleveland is a quirky set creating card game. You're a robot inventor competing with other robot inventors trying to take out the villains that are attacking the great city of Cleveland. It's for two to eight players and takes about 30 to 60 minutes to play. Each round, one monster will be revealed who is attacking the city. To fend the monster off, each player has a hand of five cards and trades them out until they have in their hand a robot head, body, feet, and add-on that combine to match or surpass the attack strength of the monster, in this case, 37. So on your turn, you can take a card from the deck or the discard pile and then discard back down to five cards. And you can also take a card from the bargain center to get a body part that you are missing, but notice that they don't have a color. And finally, you could play an action card from your hand, like the Miraculator, which lets you go through the draw deck and take a card of your choosing. Now, color is important because for the color of cards that your robot has the most of, you get one extra point each. In this case, I have the most orange cards, so I would get one, two extra points added to my total. Or you'll notice that some monsters have instant kill requirements here. So if you have robot cards that match these colors, you can kill the monster without having to match its strength. The player who kills the most monsters throughout the game wins the keys to the city of Cleveland. This is a good game if you're looking for something that is light, has quirky art and humor, and works well with new gamers of all ages. The end of the rounds is the best part as once someone reaches the total to kill the monster, everyone else gets one more turn, and during that last turn, usually crazy things happen as the person with the highest total often changes. And, this is very clever, at the end of the game, you can read the descriptors on your cards to see what robot you actually built. For instance, this robot would be a cycloptic supersonic pulverizer with a spatula of doom. Now for my games, going through all nine monsters as suggested took way too long, so I usually only used a handful or less. Also, the game ends differently if you attack with the regular attack or the instant kill, which can be kind of confusing. Also, it almost seems like a penalty to reach the attack total first because then everyone else gets another turn, but not you. So all that being said, I give this game a two and a half out of five stars, and that is the robot that totally saved Cleveland.